I think everybody is like a little bit multi-passionate. We're here to learn fundamentals and principles. This is the road to mastery and this is lifelong. And if you ain't start young, it's good to start right now. You have to start with the fundamentals and the principles because that's where all the skills are built upon. That's like the foundation. Because everybody have different natural talents. You won't be on the road to mastery right there. That's what it is. Finally got a new broom and a dustpan. Always gotta be cleaning up. Hella gross. Always trying to reorganize the layout, trying to make the space work better. Got the rack on the wheels now. Now we can do some more slide puzzle stuff up in here. I've actually been recording vlog moments like this whole month. I've even been editing a bunch of them. I just haven't posted them. Was good. Got my hair cut. Also be growing out the beard though. Got the face here helped me sing better. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. I should just start posting some of those standalone moments actually. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. I mean, why not? Probably should be doing that. If you wanna see some standalone moments that aren't in these like super edits, post it to the channel. Just let me know in the comments because I got a bunch of those. Whenever I start moving things around in the space, we start cleaning up and reorganizing, I'm like reminded of all the life lessons and memories. It's like sediment in the water, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing all this artwork and creative work for a long time. Sometimes there's new lessons and sometimes there's old lessons. Sometimes you just need reminders. Put ear protection on, need reminders. Always remember. Biggest lesson that I'm always being reminded of, I be failing all the time, is because I lack discipline. That's like the biggest life lesson that my daddy was trying to teach me when I was a kid. I'm an actual dad now, so I gotta lead by example. It's crazy how many pictures of my baby children I can take on my phone. It's like 90% of the pictures on my phone are on my baby children. Every moment, like an event with them. So we always doing something, so I gotta like, I was trying to capture some memories right here. I gotta capture some memories. Every morning I take a picture of my baby children in front of the house. Almost every morning. I try to every morning. That's just for my memories. But also, if they go missing, I got a picture of them that morning. Very important. I Man, I got the phone, so I might as well do it. Almost forgot. We went on another shooting trip. Brought the camera out. Had a document. Used to go shooting like multiple times a year and used to go to the range like all the time, but now we go like once a year. I gotta clean this one up now. Oh yeah, and then also this um this power arm right here, this one's called the featureless rifle. It's not this not a AR-15 right here. This is a featureless rifle. Empty. You really gotta make sure that the weapon is clear before you do any actual handling of it. Everything's about safety. That was it. I'm breaking a sweat. That was a quick trip, a little bit crazy too, because we had some car problems on the way out. That's happened to us before. Gotta always try to remember how to jumpstart a car, but sometimes it actually happens. I've actually been recording myself doing like my artwork things for like over 10 years now. I've always been trying to collect the process. This whole idea actually started back in high school. And one of my homies was recording me playing guitar. We watched the playback and the homie was like, bro, what's wrong with your pinky? Look like it's not even a part of your hand. What's going on up in here? Look kind of weird though. Look hella funny. That was when I realized like I gotta use my pinky. Pinky is very important for guitar players. If you're really trying to get good at what you be doing, especially for all my artists and my creative homies out there, my homie Timmy going to music college right now. He's doing the music class. So melody exercise. Melody and that you're holding your pitch. So fa mi, so fa mi re. That's also 6 8. That one's 3 4. <laughs> Got the homie Amir out there doing the shoemaking and the fashion design. Don't forget to record your practices and your process. You need the memories and the reminders and you need the feedback so you can correct yourself, so you can do better every time. That's what you got to do. Just doing my one-liner practices right here. One-liners, very important. Gotta get that rapid visualization, that's what you gotta do. Ever since I got my first iPhone, that's when I started recording almost all my practices, at least a little bit. Always gotta get that instant replay and the feedback. That's how you get better and better and better, you gotta do. We hitting it with the ballast doll right up in here. Actually, outside of cleaning the parts, it's a good time to actually inspect all the parts because you don't want no broken parts. If you got some broken parts, it's gonna be a no-no. Everything about safety, be safe out there. I gotta let all this stuff sit now. So we'll give it a little bit of time. Take care of some other stuff. 
I think everybody is like a little bit multi-passionate. All my homies got at least a couple things that I can identify them with. There are always gonna be these things that we collect, there's gonna be things that we pay money to learn about, things that we freely spend our time like researching, things that decorate our lives, that we're thankful for, that bring us joy. I actually went to art and design school. I had this actual graphic design teacher, shout out Roland Young, RIP Roland Young. So have you done this your whole life? You're right at that point, and then you pull out. Yes or no? I'm curious. All my fellow design students know about Rolling Young. Right. Are you cut out for this kind of thing? Okay, you better get it straight now. Because it's not going to change from now on. That's Before it. you got here, your passions made you a special boy. Now you're here and everybody else got passion too, so you're not very special no more. You might be able to do some fancy drawings, you might be able to talk about some music, but we're here to be disciplined. Hi, I'm here for creativity. I'm here because I want to be edgy. Everything's cool and awesome. Well, it's seven weeks. What do you think so far? Is it cool to be a designer? Are you sure? We're here to focus and solve problems. You can go ahead and be an artist outside. You don't have to go to art school. You still will have to learn discipline. He was talking about we're here to learn fundamentals and principles. This is the road to mastery and this is lifelong. So if you're about to quit, if you want to leave school, you might as well quit right now. You can leave the classroom right now. The classes are getting larger and larger and there are more and more flakes that are coming into this school. Do you understand that? There has to be. There can't be more talent. There's less talent and more bodies. What does that mean? Shout out R.I.P. Rolling Young. You go to art school so you learn how to fail, but not in the real world. You get to fail in classroom. Because if you fail in the real world, you're about to cause problems. Designers are supposed to solve problems. We ain't supposed to cause problems, we're supposed to solve problems. Pretty much half the time I do electric guitar practice is unplugged. Just fingers and strings. Always looking for that honest feedback. Can't always let the amplifier make you sound good. Gotta make your fingers sound good. The road to mastery is lifelong. Like, I'm not exactly sure. Bro, this Jordan does damn near everything. <laughs> this is hella cool. I'm mediocre at everything though. No, bro. Jack no, bro. Exactly. This is a jack of all trades, bro. All I know is you know when you see it. And I guess when other people see it in you, then you know it. Dude, the stuff that we were like throwing back and forth was college level in theory stuff. Dude, you prepped me for like college education, bro. The road to mastery is lifelong, and that's why it's always good to start young. And if you ain't start young, it's good to start right now. Just don't quit. I hope I don't quit. I hope you don't quit. Maybe I'm too dumb to quit. Let's see what happens. What's up? We skateboarding. People ask me if I still be skateboarding. I'm like, yeah, I still be skateboarding. I've been rolling around on a skateboard for like over 20 years now. To be honest though, still pretty wack at skateboarding. I never got actually good. I've probably landed like under 200 kickflips. I don't really do skateboard tricks, I do skateboard maneuvers. That's what I be doing. I just like to roll around. I can't even blame injuries. I never even really got broke off doing anything impressive. Skateboarding really just one of my main like methods of transportation. If I gotta go more than a couple few miles, then I might I might see what's up with something else. But if it's under a couple few miles, I'm probably gonna take the skateboard first. Go to the grocery shop right up in here. Yeah, I still be skateboarding, but then I don't tell them that this is the skateboarding I be doing. <laughs> hey. The biggest lesson from skateboarding was always going to be everything's going to take 500 more tries. How long is it going to take you to learn how to kickflip? Like, I don't know how long it's going to take you to kickflip, but probably like 500 more tries probably. And just like music, everyone's searching for style. I can do 100 ollies all day. I'm just trying to make them look good. Make them look like I'm doing it easy. Always remember, never lose your ollie. 500 more tries. I'm still pretty whack at skateboarding, to be honest. <laughs> fundamentals, principles, and talents. That's how you learn skills. You gotta start with the fundamentals, and you gotta start with the principles, and it's gonna take all your talents. Everybody has natural talents. Did you know that? I didn't know that until I went to art school. With whatever you be doing, if you wanna do it for real, you're gonna be starting with the fundamentals and the principles. Fundamentals are like tasks and techniques and methods. In skateboarding, the fundamental is gonna be balance, knowing how to ride, knowing how to use your weight. Then you can pop the skateboard, and then you can ollie with the skateboard. If you learn the arts and crafts and like design, the key fundamentals are gonna be artwork, printing, and trimming. All the little different methods, all the techniques. Measure and cut material. You're using a scissor, we're using a blade, straight edge, maybe using a robot. You still gotta know the fundamentals. And in music, 
fundamentals would be like how you actually use your individual instrument to like make sounds and then make music. Shout out all my drum homies out there. You gotta work on your rhythms. You gotta have the kick right up in here too. You do one, two, three with this foot too. Uh, you gotta mix it up too. You gotta get this to act independent too. You gotta get the kick independence. Fundamentals of that instrument. Principles would be more like music theory. It's how you observe and describe music. Principles are not tasks. They're more like observations, descriptions, vocabulary, the system. Music theory is how you can think about music, talk about music without instruments with you. So like you can easily see a fifth online. Third is like yeah, the one, jump. Right? Yeah, and the jump. A fifth, it's, a, it's a nice looking one. It's a nice looking one. Principles in arts and crafts and design would be more like visual principles, scale, repetition, congruency, proportion, balance, symmetry, visual high hierarchy. Those are all things that are visual principles. They're observable and you can describe them. With vocabulary, you can communicate the principles. For skateboards, there's types of boards, there's types of tricks, there's types of terrain. There's ways that we observe and describe skateboarding. You gotta be careful of the headstocks too. We got the headstocks. We did a whole 360 up in the space. A little bit low budget up in here. We got the zip ties. We got the paracord. We using the we using the knots. We using the Boy Scout knots. Put it all together. We're gonna have to watch out for this over time because never done this before. Just trying to be resourceful. Got some hefty planks. Moving dolly rated for many hundred pounds. We're gonna have to look out for these zip ties and these knots though. All it works out. Only one way to find out. If I come back down here in the morning some other time and the guitars are on the floor and the rack broke off and the dolly didn't work and the planks popped out. I hope not. Let's see what happens. Only one way to find out actually. You gotta do it. <laughs> To start with the fundamentals and the principles because that's where all the skills are built upon. That's like the foundation. In art school, we had classes that were called foundation classes. Those are the basic skills that all the artists have to build their skills upon. I was in graphic design, but when we were in foundation classes, I'm in class with like sculptors and illustrators and painters and architects. These are the foundational classes for all of those things. Fundamentals and principles. Your natural talents are what's gonna help you like learn the skills because some skills are gonna be easier for you to learn. And then for other people, they're gonna learn other skills that are hard for you to learn because everybody have different natural talents. And if you don't know your natural talents, starting to learn the fundamentals and the principles are just gonna reveal your talents because some of the things are gonna be easy for you to understand and then some of them will be hard for you to understand. Most things for me are very hard to understand. That's why it took me so long to understand some of these things. I've been playing guitar for about 23 24 years i got seven guitars on the rack and i got three more guitars not on the rack i got like 10 guitars i'd be working with i actually got a couple more they're just not up in here they all sound different and feel different because they sound different and feel different they make you play different the feedback that you get from the input you put onto the guitar is going to change the way you input on the guitar you know what i'm saying Skills are things that everyone can learn. Your natural talents belong to you. They're personal. And after you learn a new skill, it's going to reveal the next skill because you'll be like, oh, I can play this, but can I play that? I can play that now, but can I play this? I went to a Boy Scout camp one time. Well, I was a Cub Scout, but we went to a Boy Scout camp. Cub Scouts went with the Boy Scouts to a Boy Scout camping. That was the first time I got to use a power arm. Now I've been a power arm owner for like over 10 years. Actually work with this company right here, Sig Sauer right here. That was one of my clients right here for my magnifier. This was actually sent to us from the client. EOTech right here, the EOTech. This was, my, this was my actual first client. This is the client that I got hired for actually. Shout out all the EOTech homies out there. I mean, I don't got the, I don't got the EOTech dot. I got a broken EOTech dot though. It's also sent to us by the client. This is an old one. The hologram inside still working though. It's pretty tight, but I got the EOTech magnification. This is the old ones, the old logo. The new ones that right now, I got the new logo. I drew that logo. Well, I helped draw that logo. Graphic design. This is graphic design stuff. This is not a AR-15 right here. This is a featureless rifle. That's for all the law people out there. There's another thing about being a power arm owner. You gotta keep up with all the laws. I'm trying to be a good guy. I'm trying to be a good guy. You gotta be smart. You gotta know your, you gotta know all the laws too. Also, shout out all the other Freedom Week participants out here. 2019, Freedom Week. We out here. The skills that you learn will be difficult at first, but then discipline you'll push through. Your skills will compound. The more you practice and perform, you'll be able to improvise and like solve problems and adjust as you go along. Under stress, the mind is only gonna go where the body has been. When you practice, you gotta do all the different ways. That way, when it comes down to the performance, you have options to explore because your body's been there before. This is the same lesson you would learn if you played live music or if you had to, um, if you had to jam with other people and if you ever had to improvise. <laughs>
guitar is just a guitar. Like I need to be the guitarist. I gotta be the musician. Canvas, paints, paper, all that's just tools, but I gotta be the artist. Same thing with the power arms. They're weapons, but they're also just tools. I gotta be the weapon, you know what I'm saying? You gotta see what you can do. That's what it's all about. That's what the artwork is all about. Discipline is gonna make all the practice meaningful. You have to show up and be present and not confused. I'm just some regular artist designer person. I just think of it as a road to mastery because I'm not really, I don't really get to a destination. I'm just being on the road. Another big lesson from art school is if you wanna be an artist, you gotta be the artist. That's the easy part. The hard part is if you're an artist, you gotta stay being an artist. Yeah, I play guitar for 20 years and then eventually, when you're trying to be an artist on the road to mastery and you have the discipline for longevity, then it really turn into you an artist if you can keep it. Numbers, letters, learn to spell. Shown. Come here. I don't think I've ever introduced you my doggy right here. This is my doggy. Her name is Shone. Walking Dead. She hella old. I got distracted. I do some computer work. Do some computer work. Actually, check it out. Earlier today, I actually got me a, um, a calendar together. Well, I ain't filled it up, but I printed one out though. Had to hit it with the Helvetica Bowl. That's what we doing. Helvetica Bowl be out here. I'm a very typical designer. That's what it is. A lot of times in regular life, we're gonna be practicing discipline and things we don't even care about. Regular life got requirements. Back in art school, I had a whole bunch of classmates that were like career people already. So this is like their second degree. It's very evident in their work, the amount of discipline that they have. They knew how to find all their limits and then work with all their limits within their limits, the big limits and the little limits. It's always gonna be about fast, easy, and accurate. You can only choose two. It's fast and accurate, so it's not gonna be easy. If it's fast and easy, you, you might not be very accurate. If it's easy and accurate, then you might not be going very fast. The point of the discipline and the practice, you wanna be able to be fast and accurate, and you want it to be easy. You gotta go fast when you can, but you also gotta slow down when you have to. You always gotta have balance. Everything's about balance. Because with regular life, practicing discipline is because there's gonna be deadlines and consequences. But with creative work and your personal artistry, that's not always the case. I need to start giving myself some deadlines. That's what I gotta do. Finally, Go and get me on some schedules. Every week, gotta get me back into some routines. You need to build routines because you're just working off of what you into at the moment. You ain't gonna find the discipline to be devoted to it. I mean, I, I, I can recognize it, but I don't really know what mastery really is. All I know is you can't become a master if you give up. So you gotta be devoted for life. I get that discipline, that's what we gotta do. Schedules and discipline, very important. Sorry, I got distracted, I got distracted. Shawn, you come here. Palm, other palm, that's my doggy. Your real skills compound when you make things. So I'm always trying to think about songs, not just music, but songs. I'm not just trying to think about graphic design, but I'm trying to think about a book. I'm trying to think poster, website, make things. I stress practice all the time because just like in music, nobody sound good at first, but you gotta practice until you sound good. And then your practices sound good. Just like in music, practice don't always make perfect. A lot of times practice will make permanent. You gotta learn and understand the fundamentals and be a student of the game, that's what you gotta do. Just like doing any type of artwork actually. Anyone can show you the way, but you gotta go through it. Only you can do it for you. Only you can do it for you. That's where all the artwork really come from. Anyone can draw pictures. Can I draw pictures? I'm trying to draw pictures. I gotta see what I can do. You gotta see what you can do. That's where you want to be at. You're going to be on the road to mastery right there. That's what it is. Everything that I think is fun, there's still going to be like the 99% of that thing that's not the fun part. You know me, I be stay riding. Putting the script together now. We got the script together. We're going to... I don't even know how this video is gonna turn out, but I'm trying to make it meaningful. So I can start structuring my videos again and popping them out instead of me just flapping my jaws. The work always finds a way to kind of expand to fill the time you give to it. And then the more time you give to the work, the more complex it gets. And then you start overthinking. Then the deadline is tomorrow. So now you're staying up all night trying to do the work. And then it gets done because most of the work was done like toward the end. That was me in art school. That's me right now with this channel. I gotta work on this. That's what all this is about. I'm really I'm really changing things around. I gotta be about that discipline. I gotta be about that discipline. There you go, that's the road to mastery as taught by art school. You didn't even have to go to art school to learn that. I demystified that for you. Hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. I right, gotta get back to work now. All right, for sure. I gotta, gotta try and meet these deadlines now. Miss you next time. I can tell how we are gonna